So I'm Gregory Gavin, and the project here is called Riveropolis, and Riveropolis is an idea, and it's also a company. Um, so the idea is to engage people of all ages um, with running water into a creative and social atmosphere where they take risks to, to do things that they might um, not do if there wasn't this anomalous water feature in their midst. So I grew up playing in creeks, and I've always returned to creeks to um, get inspired. It's sort of my, part of my creative process as an artist and as an um, entrepreneur. And I also had a nephew who um, had a lot of behavior issues, and I saw him playing in a creek for two hours that was coming out of snow melt, which is really cold. And he was supposed to have a short attention span, and I was amazed by how long he would spend time floating little pine cones. And it really stuck with me when I saw that, and I thought that's something that I could maybe bring back to the city. You might ask, is this a science education, or is this just playing around? And so I would answer that question by saying that um, it might be more profound for kids to directly discover the way the world operates, the way the water is moving, the way um, objects are responding to the water, buoyancy, weight, flotation, eddies, and things like that, without loading them up with a lot of language. And so they're um, sort of unconsciously entering into a design process because they're building a raft or a boat, and they're launching down the river, and they're seeing how it behaves, and then maybe they're changing it to make it behave in a way that's more satisfying, like it goes farther down the river, or it doesn't get stuck in an eddy, or it doesn't get stuck in a waterfall. So this could look like fooling around and messing around, which it is, but it's also a kind of design process where you go from um, a design and then testing that design and then redesigning what you're building. I've seen people respond to Riveropolis in one way, which is that I hear people saying to their kids, we've got to see more of the fair. We can't stay here all day. So I think that's a sign that um, it's very engaging. I have to say, I've been bringing this to schools and museums um, and also I, I teach a, river, a, a camp in the summer and I've very rarely come across a kid who's not engaged by running water.